I'm sure we'd all like to know our different national relationships with the world are still intact. Not to worry guys, the office of the Senate President, David Mark, says all is well between the Nigerian and German government after his meeting with the German ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Mike Zenner, on Thursday last week. Both countries have reassured each other of continuous socio-economic cooperation and the Nigerian Senate President has added that Nigeria will work closely with other developed economies of the world to better the lot of its citizenry. Good news, as we all know that good PR is essential for any successful economy. The Ethiopian Minister of Agriculture, Professor Tekeling Mamo Asefa, has won the 2014 Yara Prize. The Yara Prize 2014 honors food and nutrition security and the twin challenges of employment and income generation. It is to this effect that the Ethiopian minister was selected. Professor Mamo is being celebrated for the various things he has done to make life better for farmers in Ethiopia and has effectively used both his position and his knowledge to make this happen. Some of the work he has done has been focused on managing waterlogged soil and improving acidic soil. He has also worked with farmers to help them use more modernized methods in their work and has also extended this modernization to Ethiopia's Fertilizer Advisory Service. Congrats to you, sir. Awesome to see agriculture getting the attention it deserves. Twenty-two Africans have randomly emerged from Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Nigeria, and Tanzania as winners in the second round of the Power Africa Off-Grid Energy Challenge, sponsored by GE Africa, the United Nations African Development Foundation, and the U.S. Agency for International Development. A round of applause for this selected group, it wasn't easy to stand out in a large number of about 300 applicants. The tasks were tough, but the aim is good. Each winner will receive a grant of up to $100,000 to support the development of off-grid solutions that will use renewable resources to create increased economic activity. The off-grid challenge is designed to promote innovative solutions that will develop, scale up, or extend the use of proven technologies for off-grid energy. Its aim is to increase access to reliable, affordable, and sustainable power in rural communities in sub-Saharan Africa. Another positive move, we think, it's a good thing that the power challenges in Africa are being addressed from a number of directions. Who remembers Samuel Peters? Maybe you might know him by the name Nightmare. The former heavyweight champion has been absent from the boxing scene for three years, but now he's back to face Ron Aubrey in a scheduled eight-round bout built for OKC Downtown Air Park, Oklahoma City, USA. If you recall, the last time the Nigerian Nightmare fought was on April 2, 2011, when he suffered a ninth-round knockout at the hands of Robert Hellenius in a World Boxing Organization and World Boxing Association title fight in Germany. The Nigerian boxer has more wins than losses, which makes him more than capable to make the nation proud out there. We wish him the very best. <laughs>